Justin Forrest, Adrian Dell. Go ahead with questions. Well, uh, on the bright side, your defense kept you in the game. But what happened on the offensive end to just make it such a struggle today? Um, it wasn't nothing. It just we, we, we didn't hit shots that we normally hit. I'm not going to blame it on nothing else. It just wasn't our night. Uh, not going to make excuses. We get to the drawing board, get in the gym, and uh, we'll, we'll get right for next week. Did you uh, feel like that uh, Georgia State uh, coming in uh, was a little bit of a matchup problem with their size and, and that kind of thing? No, we, I mean, we played these guys multiple times before and had success, so we, we didn't, weren't really too concerned about matchups. We know we're going to get everybody best shot um, going into how this year is going, but you know, we, we're, we weren't too really worried about matchups. It was just another game for us. You guys were in a really bad spot in the game when uh, Dustin uh, picked up his technical foul, and it seemed like at that point that kind of energized you. Is that kind of what happened to allow you to make it, uh, you know, close at the end of the game? Um, yeah, I mean, coach had our back, and he preached it all year. So uh, the least we could do is go out there and give it all, uh, go out there and finish the game hard and. You know, just just keep doing what we can do to try and have some success. Uh, hey guys, James Parker with the Appalachian. Um, Adrian, about the midway point of the second half, uh, the entire team just started scoring better, getting better defensive stops, gaining momentum. Um, was there anything in halftime particular that um, maybe you guys went over in the game plan that really helped you guys uh, start that run? Uh, <clears throat> just move the ball from side to side. You know, move, change sides of the court, and get paint the greats. Um, I think they was collapsing a lot, and we had a lot of kick. We had some kickouts that we hit, could have hit, but you know, it's part of the game, and we just look forward to move on. Um, Justin, so uh, talk a little bit about over the years being able to watch um, Adrian Delph grow and develop as a player, um, both as an individual and um, as just a team player. Um, I mean, he's, he's great. I've been. Been playing with Dell for uh, four, four years, four years now. Um, I mean, it, it's just a, it's, his game is has been the same. He's always been able to do this. I've seen him do way more than you guys have can even imagine. But I mean, it, it's, it doesn't surprise me at all. He's a great person, great basketball player, and uh, my brother for life. So you know, it, it doesn't really surprise me what what he does. It's, it's just it, it's makes me happy to see him uh, having this much success because he puts the work in. He works his butt off and. Just makes me happy to be able to see everybody else being able to see what uh, I've been seeing for four years. Hey guys, <clears throat> particularly in the first half um, with the offensive struggles, was there anything in particular that that uh, Georgia State was doing defensively that you hadn't seen before, or was it just a matter of the shots not not falling? When Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, it was just just wasn't our night. It was just a matter of shots falling. Um, you know, we're, it's gonna you're gonna have nights like this. I mean, we probably haven't had one of these in a in a good little minute. But um, I mean, it happens. It's the game of basketball. Uh, you try to win them all, but you can't. But I mean, it, it's stuff like this happens. We'll be we'll shoot it better. We'll shoot it better uh, next game. Other questions? Answer. Thank you. Thank you.